Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson and here's the seafood news for the week of May 2nd, 2016. North American haddock buyers continue to search for market demand during a puzzling price floor that has lasted nearly six months now. Haddock raw material pricing was a hot topic at the Brussels Seafood Show, which wrapped up last week. So we contacted packers in China to get information direct from the source. We asked Chris Liu, our Vice President of Asian Operations in our Qingdao office, about the outlook for haddock pricing. The haddock pricing probably will go up pretty soon because this haddock has been at a slow, low level for, for six months already, six more than six months. And the, the, I talked to some packers and asked them their for their opinion we think haddock has been re, re uh, fluctuating the pricing that's why it's just so risky to to uh to do it right now we saw haddock raw materials reach 4500 metric ton last year and it's dropped dramatically to 2100 where it currently sits even at this price floor demand is stagnant so we asked chris to talk to a leading haddock packer to see what it would take to jumpstart the market again he thinks once some buyers in 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 North America or in Europe start buying, and it will trigger they will trigger the market right away, and the price will go up one thousand easily. In the meantime, European demand for whitefish is being filled by Pacific cod, which is more stable. Pacific cod is close. The pricing is a little higher than than haddock, but it's more stable. The, the raw material of Pacific cod has been at this level for, for two years already. Haddock used to be substituted by Atlantic cod, but volatile pricing and poor harvest for frozen production have some Chinese processors concerned. Most of the quota of twice frozen fish went to fresh market. So there will be less quota for for Twice frozen Atlantic cod, and the catch is poor, so the pricing probably will go up. And some packers told me it will be easily more than four thousand this year. Cod exports from Norway were strong in the first quarter, forty-eight percent over the same time last year. But large volumes of the quota did go to fresh sales and salted production. However, haddock supply is good, especially in the summer months. The 2016 total allowable catch is up 24% from last year at 223,000 metric tons. Even with steady supply, haddock pricing is all over the board in the North American market. In January, haddock loins in Boston were around $2.80 mark. Since then, inventories have backed up from decreased demand, resulting in wide spot pricing ranging from 250 to 265 a pound. On the West Coast, haddock pricing has slowly dropped over the last four months to a price variance from Pacific cod loins of about 10 cents per pound. In Vancouver, the market closed last week at $2.75 a pound for Pacific cod loins and $2.65 a pound for haddock loins. It is unlikely that we will see demand transition back to haddock for contract business because of the stability of Pacific Cod. But many price sensitive buyers would make the switch for opportunity purchases. To wrap things up, our Tradex Live offer of the week is for Sinbad brand haddock fillets. We have several sizes available in Boston for $2.70 a pound US dollars. Click or tap the icon above to view this offer. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.